Richie Rich, you know, I, I call him the 1% of the 1%. Occupy Wall Street is mad as hell at the top 1% of the US. Well, Mitt Romney's in the top 1% of the top 1%. So it's pretty hard for him to sort of deflect the criticism that he's part of the problem, not the solution when it comes to the US economy. In terms of regions today, I think the most important thing was that he couldn't get traction in Tennessee, a big southern state. You know, if this was going to be a sort of a groundswell finally to say that Mitt's our guy, you would have expected him to win Tennessee, but Rick Santorum looks like he won Tennessee pretty easily. Yeah, now Rick Santorum is still in the race, obviously. What about Newt Gingrich here? He won the, the one state, but can he really afford to keep going? Well, he can aff uh, Newt Gingrich can afford to keep going because his single big backer, you know, a, a Las Vegas casino magnate, as long as that person is willing to put another five million dollars in his pocket, uh, Newt Gingrich can continue to campaign. But Gingrich won his home state of Georgia. If he was going to have traction, particularly in the South, which is what he said, he would have expected to do very well in Tennessee, and he didn't. So I think Gingrich stays in the campaign, mostly for nuisance value, but only because he's got a single big rich backer, you know, the super PACs we've been hearing a lot about. It's sort of down to Santorum Romney. Santorum not only doesn't have much money, it's very hard to see how just arithmetically he could get enough delegates to be in front by the convention. So, it, it, you know, absent, uh, absent a new candidate, absent a brokered convention, Mitt Romney is going to be the nominee, but there's just not a lot of excitement and, and momentum surrounding him at the moment in an environment in which the U.S. economy is doing better. Sure, there are still massive problems. And with the improvement in the economy, Barack Obama's opinion poll ratings are going up again. It's, I just don't think today is going to look like a very good day for the Republicans when all is said and done. And President Obama is looking pretty relaxed. He was uh, asked about the Republican uh, contest today, at the, well, early today. Have a look at what he had to say. Mitt Romney uh, has criticized you on Iran and said hope is not a foreign policy. He also said that you are America's most feckless president since Carter. Yeah. What would you like to say to Mr. Romney? Uh, good luck tonight. <laughs> No, really. <laughs> really. Bottom line is Jeff Garrett, he must be loving uh, watching the Republicans tear each other apart and, and also looking at the quality of the candidates and, and the fact that Mitt Romney's the likely contender that he'll face. I mean, he's, he's, he's going to have a, a plethora of ammunition to run against him now. Absolutely. You know, Obama has that thing where he sort of cracks a joke and then slowly the smile comes over his face. Sometimes that might be manufactured today. I think it was probably real. Uh, but however, there is a, you know, there's a concern for Obama and the concern probably is in the foreign policy field. You know, if, if something uh, that, we, that he's trying to manage down happened, which is something like an Israeli airstrike in Iran, uh, all bets are off. Uh, among other things, it would drive up petrol prices in the U.S. and middle America wouldn't like that. You know, no surprise that there are references to Iran and Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter lost in 1980 to Ronald Reagan amid a deep American recession when he looked like a weak president against Iran. You know, Mitt Romney might hope that that's the script that, that will get him into the White House, but I don't think anyone is confusing Mitt Romney with Ronald Reagan at the moment. So what's going to happen from here? What are the next big primaries to look out for? And, and can Mitt Romney really seal this thing before the convention itself? Well, I, I don't think you, you should be looking at states at the moment. The, what the Republicans did was decide that essentially all their contests until April should be some form of proportional representation. So no winner takes all in the states. So no knockout punch. No surprise to me that the first thing Mitt Romney said in that grab you had from his, his victory speech in Massachusetts was delegates. He's in front in delegates. He's got the organization to keep accumulating delegates. It's just not that there's no landslide out there. It's pretty hard to see that. I don't know what the image is. You know, is he limping to the finish line? Is every week like pulling teeth for him? I don't know. But it's just not it's not a smooth process for Romney. And I think at this point, the Republicans need it to be a much smoother process. 
because the, at, at the moment the attention's on them and it's not positive. Is it fair to say, I mean, everyone always says money is what talks in US politics today and, and you know, the fact that Mitt Romney's loaded would suggest that he'd be able to blow the others out of the water, but there's clearly uh, another issue here at play, the dislike for Mitt Romney amongst Republicans, the less uh, cashed up candidates are, are still hanging in there. Yeah, Santorum is literally running on the smell of an oily rag, but he continues to be able to do that because he does, you know, he, he doesn't have the money, but he has the he has the commitment of the, the conservative base. Now, that's also interesting because it's not like Ritz, Rick Santorum was the original candidate of the conservative base. The conservatives are still running an ABM strategy, anybody but Mitt. And Rick Santorum is the last one standing. You know, Santorum's got millions of warts on his body as well. The fact that he can do well in this environment with no money, with being way out of the mainstream on uh, birth control, uh, looking now like he's a Washington insider, not an outsider, which he is. You know, he's in the Senate for two terms. The fact that he's doing well and doing well among the base just tells you how much the Republican base cannot bring itself to, be, to rally behind Mitt Romney. Jeff Garrett from the US Study Centre, really good to talk to you for your analysis on Super Tuesday. Thanks so much for that. Real pleasure, David.